Section 7.1a is about a system of equations. A system of equations are when two equations are graphed on the same plane, specifically uh, linear equations. I want you to think about that. If I have two lines and I graph them in a plane, there are three things that those lines can do, and I want to know if you can, uh, if you can think about that. What could those lines do if I graph them? Well, they could touch each other and cross in one spot. That's one thing those lines could do. What else could those lines do? They could be right on top of each other, right? You could have two separate lines that are right over top of each other, so they almost look like one line and touch each other everywhere. And the third thing that can happen is those two lines could never touch at all. These are the three possibilities that exist when you graph two lines on a plane, and that's what the basis of our entire Chapter 7 is about, is looking at these three situations and, and learning how to solve those. So here we have the summary for the whole section. Uh, these are the three situations I talked about. Lines that intersect, lines that are the same, and lines that are parallel. And now we have some terms that we're going to add to them. You see, if two lines are graphed in the same plane and they touch each other one time, we say that they're consistent. Because consistent means graphs that intersect or graphs that touch. If they touch one time, like this example here in the orange, they touch in one spot, we say that they're independent because they intersect one place and we also say that they have one solution because a solution is where the two graphs or the two lines touch each other. Well the second scenario is what happens when the lines are right on top of each other. They're still consistent because they intersect, they touch, but this time they don't touch in just one spot, they touch in all spots, they touch everywhere. So we say that those are consistent, but yet they're dependent, graphs that intersect everywhere. And then if they're dependent, they have an infinite number of solutions. They, they touch in every spot or an infinite number of spots. And the last scenario is that they never touch or they're parallel. And if they don't touch, they're called inconsistent. Graphs that are parallel are inconsistent. So these are the terms that we give to these three situations. In this example, we have to use the graph at the right to determine whether the system has no solution, one solution, or infinitely many solutions. I'm going to try to use some colors to help you out. So for the first one, we'll use orange. And let's look at letter A. I want to find the equation y equals negative x plus 5. So where is that? Well, it looks like this one right here is y equals negative x plus 5. The other one is y equals x minus 3. That's this one. So looking at just those two lines, those two, those two lines, um, what do those two lines do? Well, the answer is they cross. And remember, when lines cross, how many solutions are there? And the answer is that there's one solution. So let's go to B now. And for B, we'll do green. Um, y equals negative x plus 5. I'm going to circle this line in green just to highlight it. And then 2x plus 2y equals negative 8. That's this one. 2x plus 2y equals negative 8. So the highlighted one's in green there. Look at those two lines. What happens? Well, they're parallel. They don't touch at all. So how many solutions? We say it has no solution because they don't touch at all. And the last one, I'll use red. 2x plus 2y equals negative 8. Uh, that's this one. We'll circle that one in red also. And negative x minus 4y, it's the same line. So we'll circle it twice. So if it's the same line, how many solutions are there? There's infinitely many. So you just look at the graph, you try to find the two lines that they're talking about, and then based on what we've learned, if they cross, there's one solution. If they're parallel, there's no solution. And if they're the same line, there's infinitely many solutions. Here's some more that we have to determine the number of solutions. Number four is x minus 4 y equals x minus 4 is this one. And y equals 1 third x minus 2. 1 third x minus 2 looks like this one. So what happens to those two? They touch in one place. So we'll say that number 4 is one solution. Okay, let's do blue for number 5. 1 third x plus 2. Um, I'll try to go over top of it there. That's that line. And 1 third x minus 2 is this one. So we can kind of see the blue there. Looks to me like those are parallel. So that's no solution. We'll do green for number 6. 
x minus y equals 4, um, that one in green, right there, and y equals x minus 4, same line. So if it's the same line, infinitely many solutions, that means it touches, the lines touch each other everywhere. And then for red, we'll do number 7, x minus y equals 4, so this, this one that everyone is actually pointing to, and negative 1 third x plus 4 right there. So it looks like those two reds cross in one spot, one solution.